President Tsai Ing-wen spent her second day in Belize in the capital city of Belmopan, arriving at the Lee Richardson building just after 9 a.m. for a special signing ceremony. After greeting the Minister of Foreign Affairs, President Tsai and Prime Minister John Brasenio further solidified the ties between Taiwan and Belize with the signing of the Technical Cooperation Framework Agreement. According to the PM, this agreement will see even more collaboration between the two countries. This agreement will serve to further establish cooperation programs in areas such as agriculture, forestry, technology, education, climate change, youth and women, health, tourism, and other areas of mutual interest. Likewise, it is a reflection of the many projects our two countries are presently engaged in as we continue to strengthen our bilateral relations. And President Tsai showed her appreciation by handing over several thousand laptops to PM Brasenio, which will go to deserving students. Among the many areas of our bilateral cooperation, education is one of the most enduring and impactful. In the past few years, I, we have seen young Belizeans continue to apply for scholarships to study in Taiwan. I'm always heartened by how enthusiastic they are about education and recognize its importance for one's future. In a moment, we'll mark the handover of 500 laptops. Sorry, 5,000 laptops. <laughs> With Prime Minister Bersanio. I hope these laptops mark a difference to young Belizeans in their quest for knowledge and help them realize their educational aspirations. The president and the prime minister, along with other governmental officials, then held a closed meeting inside the Sir Edney Kane building. That meeting lasted about 30 minutes before President Tsai arrived at the National Assembly, where she joined the air representatives from both sides, as well as the members of the Senate, for a special joint sitting of the House of Representatives. Inside the chambers, PM Bersenio emphasized the importance of Belize's friendship with Taiwan. At present, we enjoy strong and growing trade relations. Taiwan's humanitarian and economic assistance has assisted in the advancement of our development agenda, and Taiwan continues to invest in our future. Today, hundreds of Belizean students are in Taiwan studying and receiving a first-class tertiary and professional education. Among these are very talented young Belizean women who will surely return to Belize with a renewed and enriched spirit, believing that women should and can become maximum leaders of their country. After all, they can, have, they can ask for no better example than yourself, Madam President. Following the PM's speech, the President spoke from the days about the predicament Taiwan faces due to the pressures from mainland China and their struggles to establish autonomy in the international sphere. The people of Taiwan face constant threats and pressure from the neighbor on the other side of the Taiwan Strait. While Taiwan's relationship with democracies around the world have grown stronger in recent years, we continue to be excluded from participating in international organizations and serving as a productive member of the international community. From international forums to meetings held by international organizations, such as the United Nations, WHO, ICAO, and under the UNFCCC, Belize has helped give voice to the 23 million people of Taiwan. I want to say thank you. Not only that, Belize continues to be Taiwan's strongest and most powerful advocate for our international participation. Moreover, last May, in this very chamber, your National Assembly members unanimously passed a motion to support Taiwan's participation in international organizations and a motion supporting democratic Taiwan was also passed a few days ago. On behalf of the people of Taiwan, I want to take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to the government of Belize and all the members of the House and the Senate 
Your unwavering friendship and support means so much to us. Thank you. I'm Belize will be seeing more fruits of that friendship in the upcoming years with Taiwan support. But one of the most significant projects that will come to fruition is a general hospital for San Pedro Tong. Road upgrades will connect people from one region to another. We are also working together to bring clean water to rural areas. More importantly, in order to better the learning environment for Belize's next generation, we are supporting programs to provide nutritious food and internet access to schools. In addition, an upgrade to provide more comprehensive healthcare facilities on Belizean islands, the San Petro, San Petro General Hospital will soon commence. Since the Taiwan Belize Economic Coalition Agreement took effect last January, Belizean exports to Taiwan in 2023 increased to 317% of the amount in 2021. That is 3.24 million US dollars. One such example is Marie Shop's hot sauce, which is already very popular in Taiwan and already one of my personal favorites. And while all members of the National Assembly could speak for hours about Taiwan's contributions to Belize's advancement, both the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House emphasized the significance of seeing three women leaders sitting at the head of the chambers. Madam President, and I don't get to say that often, it was Marian Wright Edelman, founder and president of the Children's Defense Fund, who said, and I quote, you can't be what you can't see. Thus, your presence in this honorable chamber provides hope and inspiration to our young girls and women as they can see what they can be. In addition, just as your country provides hope and inspiration to our students who have lived there, for they see what Belize can also be. Today is a very proud moment for all Belizeans because we welcome the first woman president of the Republic of China, but in the National Assembly of Belize, it is the first time we have three women sitting on the dais. Your Excellency, Dr. Tsai Ing-wen, it has been a distinct honor to have you address our parliament today. And on behalf of the National Assembly of Belize, I say, yes, yes. After the speeches, the Prime Minister presented President Tsai with the certificate of a resolution to support Democratic Taiwan Motion 2023, after which they paused for a photo op before greeting the other members of the chambers. The PM then walked with the President, where she shook hands with the Special Envoy for Women and Children, Rosanna Bresenio. And President Tsai thanked Belize for its unwavering support and praised the success of this visit her second in five years. My visit to Belize have solidified my confidence that our relationship will continue to stand strong for decades to come. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.